Did you just spend half an hour on a lecture and it was so not what you're looking for? Stop wasting time finding the right lecture. I'm Dr. Sada Falam and I'm going to be reviewing medical lectures for you so that you can find the right lecture as per your need. Are you an undergraduate student? Are you a postgraduate student? Or are you having an exam tomorrow? So let's not waste time and get started with the review today, which is going to be antiarrhythmic drugs. The three best lectures are speed pharmacology. It is just for 23 minutes. Uh, it's a great lecture nevertheless. Then there is uh, med immersion. It is a 35 minute lecture, but uh, it talks about uh, the antiarrhythmic drugs, not in terms of your exam tomorrow, but also uh, it will help you answer the board questions, USMLE, NEAT, AIMS, and uh, it talks about certain mnemonics, it talks about certain MCQs. I think this too is a very good lecture. The third one, if you're a person like me who has a strong inability to mug up things and uh, you need a better concept to understand and remember things. There's a new lecture which not many have seen, but I think there's some kind of magic in it. It is by uh, Dr. Uh, Ranjan Kumar Patel. He's a pharmacologist and that's why he could make it so simple for you. Definitely use that. Ideally, you should know what are cardiac arrhythmias and what are their types before doing antiarrhythmic drugs. But in case you have an exam tomorrow on antiarrhythmic drugs and somehow you haven't really got the concept right, you could use uh, Alila Medical Media, which is just a six minute lecture and it will give you a good briefing on the types of arrhythmia so that you can understand the antiarrhythmic drugs better. And uh, also for different, this is not a review on arrhythmias per se, this is a review on antiarrhythmic drugs. So osmosis talks about different types of arrhythmias uh, in a good manner, right from the types to treatment, diagnosis, everything. But uh, that I'm going to be reviewing later. But in case you're interested in things like atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation, etc., so many of them, you could use uh, osmosis. If you are a medical professional and you want to know how exactly to use it, that is, of course, if you're new into this, uh, you could use uh, Strong Medicine, the seventh lecture, where he's telling you how to use these uh, antiarrhythmic drugs, different classes, how to use them on different patients, different categories. It's a good lecture, but this is not for my undergraduate st students. It's only for those who are going into doing that, or maybe the undergraduate students who want to know about it. So if you liked my review and found it useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.